the WNBA on 2K Sports. Welcome in, everybody. Our game tonight featuring the Indiana Fever as they go up against the Los Angeles Sparks. In the booth with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're glad to have you along for the ride. She may have been surprised to find herself so open, and maybe that's why she missed. You have to appreciate the way these two teams play. They're all about ball movement. Yeah, they each play a beautiful brand of basketball. They're always uh, hunting for good looks and making that extra pass. And you're playing unselfish. That's the big thing. You're playing the right way, and it makes it easier for everyone to buy in. Alama, shot is off. Pass to Boston. To Wheeler from outside the arc buries the long-range jumper well, how about Wheeler this time getting the feed later to shoot off the pass normally Eric is the one dropping dimes here in the first with a little over a minute played so far there's a screen by Stevens six to shoot pass to Talbot Ogumake, covered by Smith. A nice shot by Talbot. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Just trading punches from long range. It's been a heavyweight fight. Now here's Wheeler. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Yes, and a nice Kelsey assist Mitchell. from Erica Wheeler. Strong response from Mitchell, one of the sweetest shots in the game. Kelsey has a great release. Pass to Stevens. Good. First shot, first basket. You didn't have to slow down at all. That lead pass was timed perfectly. Outside Wheeler. Mitchell. And another three for Indiana. The all-time Division I leader in threes made. Mitchell is at home beyond the arc. Loves firing from this range. And a great honor for Kelsey Mitchell, winning the Community Leadership Award in 2023. Yeah, I mean, amazing. Kelsey has done incredible work in her hometown of Cincinnati. Mitchell helping young student athletes pursue their dreams, providing sports equipment and support. Stevens, that's good. And this is the start they wanted. Come out and put some points up early, hitting three or four. Pass to Smith. Back to Wheeler. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Takes the three. They get it again. Boston. And she makes good on the layup. Well, the first player you should be boxing out, Aaliyah Boston. You cannot let her get going on the glass. Here's Brown. Right side, Stevens. Back to Brown. From 11 feet away, again, the Sparks good for two. They're off and running. They've knocked down four of their first five. Boston outside. Pass to Wheeler. Back to Boston. Mitchell outside. Goes up on the wing. Good. Kelsey Mitchell. Now here's Aleman. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Here's Talbot. Inside. Score it. Her third straight basket in three attempts. That's a great example of Stevens' comfortability and focus around the basket. It's so effective down there. Count that one. She is showing a killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend this lead. Now him off. To the paint. Here's Stevens. Rebounded by the Fever. Nearly got a finger to that shot in the block attempt. It was just as effective as a block. Made her completely change her release point and caused the miss. Now here's Wheeler. 
Mitchell. Smith, left side. Here's the three. Another miss by Kelsey Mitchell. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. I just hope that was a mistake by the D. Because if that's how they plan to guard her, they're going to have serious problems. Now here is Stevens. It's hauled in by Boston. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Pass to hole. Wheeler. Here's Smith. Mitchell outside. The three. That's another one for her. Her fifth in just seven shots. Well, they can't ask much more of her than what she's done this quarter. Here's Talbot. Here's Stevens. Azaray Stevens can't get that one to fall. The Fever with the lead. Outside Wheeler. Pass to Mitchell for three. And another three for Indiana. Great outside three. shooting is really fueling this run. And the D is just getting bombarded. They haven't been able to slow them down. Here's Talbot. To the middle. Stevens. Shot to stop the run. And she sinks the layup. And she's having a quarter converting at a high percentage. Now here's Wheeler. She's guarded by Alamon. Outside Wheeler. Mitchell. Stevens grabs the board. Can't get a much better look than that. Yeah, no way you expect her to miss that shot. And here is Alemon. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. To Talbot. Now here's Alamon. Beyond the arc. And the spark. Another three. I'm not sure that was the play they had set up, but it was too good a look to pass up. Smith outside. Outside Wheeler. Now hole. Smith. She's covered by Ogumake. Here's Boston. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. They worked hard and created great chances for themselves in this opening frame. If they match that effort at the defensive end, look out. Timeout called the Sparks. Changing it up here. The Sparks trailing. Pass to Cook. Back to Brown. And here is Stevens. Over to the wing. Here's Westbrook. Sinks the three-pointer. A good decision maker with a strong feel for the game. Stevens can spot open teammates whenever she's out on the court. Now here's Mitchell. She's got 16. Pass 
to Caldwell. Mitchell. Here's Dantas. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Brown with it. Stevens the screen. And a shot by Brown, no good. Here's Wallace. Mitchell. Knocked away, and it's Wallace out of bounds to the Fever. As Indiana retains possession. Substitution on the court. To the inside. Here's Boston. Good work there as it goes. Yeah, nice play there. Boston is a dominant presence in the paint at both ends. Pass to Cloudon. Westbrook. Here's Ogumake. Now Cook. From deep. Off to a good start as she hits her first shot. Triples keep on falling, guys. Three in a row now. These defenders can't stay so soft on the perimeter. Now Caldwell. She hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Out to the wing. Berger. Down to five on the shot clock. And no good trying to use the glass. And the outside. Cloudon. Pass to Cook. Ogumake with the ball. She's guarded by Boston. Shots good by Ogumake. No one in the WNBA deals with D inside like Ogumake. She figures out ways to beat even great defense. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. The Fever on top, up by one. Let's take a quick break and then it's on to the second quarter after this. It's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter going. And what stands out to you from the Fever in this one? Scoring has come in threes for the most part so far. Yeah, and every time down the floor, it seems like they're hitting a triple. So it's the Sparks now. They trail by one. Picked by Agumake. to Burrell. Now Westbrook. Now Hamby. She's guarded by Dantas. And here's Burrell. Watches it. Aliyah Boston grabs the miss. Born on the U.S. Virgin Islands, Aliyah Boston moved to the U.S. at 12 to pursue basketball. Man, that was a good decision. Yeah, that was a very good decision. I mean, Aliyah had to go from the warm Virgin Islands to cold New England. But she thrived in the States, in college, multiple National Player of the Year awards, and of course, Aliyah Boston, the top pick of the 2023 draft. Dantas' shot is off. Here's Westbrook, covered by Berger. Pass to Burrell. Now here is Hamby. To the left side wing. And here's Westbrook. Ogumake. And that misses. That would have put them up. Down low. A nice shot there by Caldwell. So a big part of Wallace's game is finding others, initiating offense. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Here's Westbrook. 
Pass to Cook. Now Burrell. Here's Westbrook. Stolen by Wallace. Great pass to set up the land. And they're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Westbrook, the three-pointer, no good. The Fever leading to the middle. Shots good by Dante. Nice job again uh, that time to add to their lead. They're doing everything right at the moment. Yeah, you're right, Tim. It's something that any basketball fan will appreciate. It's just good, steady basketball that are playing in all aspects of the game right now. Now here is Agumake. Pass to Westbrook. Burrell guarded by Wallace. And here's Burrell. Puts up the three. What a rebound by Dantas. Now Caldwell. Berger with it. Left side Boston. And stolen by Shanae Ogumake. From 15 feet away. Hook can't get it to go. Now here's Wallace. Pass to Caldwell. Now here's Berger. Here's Boston. The basket drops and she gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up for her. They're going on a nice little run here. And getting to the rack has been the key. They're getting point blank looks time and time again. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. And the Sparks time out, time call time out. here. And when you watch Aaliyah Boston, Guardian. you know she's going to bring strength. Man, she is a physical player. Yeah, in season one of the WNBA, she has done a fantastic job. So much success throughout her college years. And I think we all knew that play was going to carry over into her professional career. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Aleman with it. Pass to Agumake. And here's Westbrook. Shot clock at six. Inside. Agumake, that's good. Letting herself be available off the pick. Agumake is one of the best rollers in the WNBA. Wheeler with it. Working on Stevens. Puts it up. Wheeler, good. That's a terrific effort on the shot. She's giving up a lot of inches in that matchup. Height? Who cares about height? She took it right at her. Pass to Talbot. To the paint. Here's 
Stevens nails the baby hook. Textbook. Nice pass. Nice catch. Nice shot. And here is Wheeler. Five points in the game. To the right side. Smith inside. She's guarded by Stevens. Clock at six. Pass to Wallace. Caldwell. Here's Wheeler. Off target with the three. The Sparks trailing. Now here's Alamon. Now Talbot. Now Alamon. Shoots over Wheeler. Alamon shot is off. Now here's Wallace. She's covered closely. Pass to Wheeler. Now Caldwell. Smith inside, working on Stevens. Shots good by Smith. This speaks to how assertive Smith is. Outstanding job scoring on the defense. Now Talbot to the inside. Here's Stevens. She's got 10. And she was all alone on that one. That was simply a defensive breakdown there. She was all alone for that shot. I, I mean, that's time like out, a warm-up jump. For the fever. Timeout called the Fever. Defense the Sparks. Seven point differential. Outside Wheeler. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Shot clock at five. Misses in close. Solid job by the defense to get in her way as she was going up to the rim. To the paint. Here's Stevens. An easy two points on the layup. With the fundamentally sound skill set, Stevens is able to create offensively. Pass to Smith. Mitchell outside. Dantes the screen. And there's the call on Stevens. That is her first foul of the game. Second team foul. Smith. She's covered by Hamby. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Score the bucket. She is 7 for 11 and continues to look good. Well, you gotta like her shot selection today. She set the bar for the rest of the team. Pass to Talbot. 
Down low. Stevens, that's good. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, they've come from inside the paint. Now here's Wheeler. He has five, all with the ball. Mitchell outside. The trade. That shot is good, and he has made eight while only missing four. That's 67% shooting. Now on. Six points for her. Pass to Brown. Now on. Five on the clock. Tamby sets a screen. And she can't answer back the three-pointer offline. A good board there, but overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. And they've just got to find a way to get back into this game. That's as good a place as any. Just increase the effort on the boards. And good that Melissa time. Smith. Such a high-motor player. Melissa Smith, relentless on the boards. Now here's Alamon. There's a screen by Stevens. Alamon with it. Pass to Talbot. Hamby. Here's Brown. That's basket number two with her third shot. Off to a fast two for three. That's their third straight make off an assist. And it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. Now here's Wheeler. Five points in the game. And here's Kelsey Mitchell for three. And here is Alemont. Pass to Stevens. Here's Talbot. She's covered by Mitchell. Let's the three fly. Melissa Smith grabs the miss. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a great habit to get into, letting her get that wide open. Now here's Smith. Back to Wheeler. On the wing, Kelsey Mitchell. Smith. Mitchell, she's guarded by Stevens. A shot by Mitchell, no good. The shot was there for her, she had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert, she should take it again next time. Over to the left wing, shoots the three, gets a three-pointer to fall. When you've got somebody that open on the perimeter, the kick out is the only choice. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Beaver ahead, up by five. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter.
with the start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. You look at Mitchell in this game, she's been everywhere. Well, she created a lot of good shots for herself in the first couple of quarters, and she knows when to pass up on the tough ones. Good shot selection. And that led to a very high points per shot number for her, and that's a stat that really tells you how efficient a player has been. Welcome back. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. The Sparks trailing. Here's Alema. Pass to Stevens. Banked in off the glass. She's made the most of her chances, hasn't she? She needs to keep on working to get these good looks. Outside Wheeler. And it's Aleman with the foul. Julie. That's her first foul. First personal foul. Teams first. First team foul. Right side, Wheeler. To the middle. Boston, right side. Just five on the clock. Pass to Wheeler. This one for three. Sinks the triple. Well, Wheeler's three ball has come a long way, and her improvement also helps her team's spacing. Now Brown. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Inside. Alema, guarded by Wheeler. Pulls it from 20. Alema, shot is off. Well, controlling the boards, they're plus five in that category. Yeah, and look, rebounding, it's not a glamour stat, but you look at the scoreboard and you see the result. Now here's Wheeler. Eight points for her. And here's Kelsey Mitchell for three. Good on the three-point shot. This is the pure shooting ability of Mitchell at work. Allows her to score right off the pass. Pass to Talbot. Down low. They double her with Boston. Brown with it. From past the arc. It's hauled in by Smith. The Fever with the lead. And you watch Nalissa Smith. She is explosive and she is versatile. Right. I mean, you see her athleticism at the rim and in transition, but she's also highly skilled. She can hit the three, post you up, beat you off the bounce. I mean, she's just a tough cover. Melissa and she Smith. gets the bucket. The moment Melissa Smith gets that ball inside, good night. I mean, Melissa is so hard to stop. Pass to Talbot. To the paint. Stevens. Looking to end the run. Bangs home the trifecta. Another good trip for her. She's going to uh, take it on herself to get them back in this game. Let's see how she does. Now here's Mitchell. Not a lot of room. Screen by Smith. Here's Wheeler. She gets it in there. Four to five to start the half. Coming out strong. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Talbot, no good. I guess even she misses those easy opportunities once in a while. To the middle, Boston. The Boston. basket good off the assist from Erica Wheeler. Have to admire just how selfless Erica Wheeler is. She loves finding her teammates in their sweet spots. Pass to Talbot to the inside. They get a hand on it. It's stolen by Hull. Down low. No good. Some solid defense by Shanae Obumake. Aleman with it, covered by Smith. Hey, yo, 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 right here, right here. Here's Talbot to the middle. Past Aleman. Fires from deep. Good on the triple. Yeah, it's the tall frame of Stevens that allows her to see the floor so well and distribute accordingly. And here's Boston. Mitchell, she's covered by Brown. Here's Wheeler. 
And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball at uh, one end with their own. A three-point battle starting to take shape here. The Sparks call timeout. Salomon. Nine points in the game. Not going to go that time. They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's been a gritty performance and a physical brand of basketball, but hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. Where was the box out? Some easy second chance points. Those kinds of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. The Fever making a switch here. What's up? And that one misses. And how about the WNBA debut for Melissa Smith? She had 13 and 13 in her very first game. Okay, after going second overall to the Fever in the 2022 draft, Smith burst out of the gates with that double-double, sending a clear message to the league, I'm already a force inside. Yep, that one goes. Another bucket in the paint. That's just something they have not been able to stop today. And if they want to win this game, they got to figure out how to stop it. You know, Brian, I think it's time to switch things up on me. What they've got going on right now is not getting it done. Well, she's shot a very good percentage today, and her team has needed every last bit of it. Pass to Mitchell. And they double up Kelsey Mitchell. Here's Wheeler. Now Smith. Five to shoot. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's an 86% accuracy mark. This Spark squad struggling. Now here is Stevens. She's guarded by Boston. Pass to Brown. Now here is Agumake. Back to Brown. Over Mitchell. A shot by Brown, no good. That's a shot she's got to hit. You don't get too many better looks from that range. Kelsey and a shot goes in. Just a strong finish through contact. Kelsey Mitchell refusing to be out-muscled. I love to see that kind of physicality from her. Here's Talbot. Nine points in the game. with it. Pass to Stevens. Brown. Another three for the Sparks. A confident shooter from deep. When Brown finds just a little space in the perimeter, she wastes no time firing away. Now here's Wheeler. He's got 13. Wallace with the ball. Fires for three. The second chance effort. And Boston with the lay-in. 
And not only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge too. They've been the aggressors, plain and simple, outworking them inside. Timeout, timeout called timeout. the Sparks. deciding to change it up. And here is Alemán. Nine points in the game. Here's Hamby. Can't hit from in close. Side. Pass to Mitchell. Uses the glass to finish the layup. This defense is getting eaten up on the inside, guys. Giving up far too many free runs to the rim. And they haven't been able to return the favor. Their offense in the paint hasn't been up to par. Now here is Hamby. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. And a basket by Brown. Showing she is more than just a shooter. Lexi Brown takes it inside for two. Here's Wheeler. Pass to Mitchell. And they double up Kelsey Mitchell. Wheeler, she's guarded by Alamon. Two minutes remaining. Four on the shot clock. Now Mitchell. And Hamby over to help. Here's Wheeler. That's in there. Kelsey Mitchell with the assist. And now she's getting rolling. Four three-pointers in the game for her, and three have come this half. Here's Brown. Derrica Hamby on the wing. She's guarded by Dantas. Takes the three. Nailed from three-point land. She's putting on a commanding performance here. She's now hit two three-pointers in each half now. Now here's Wallace. Pass to Mitchell for three. And the fever hit again from deep. What a top-notch game she's having. And really, she's got her team in front. And it sure seems like she's going to keep them there if she can continue to play like this. The 11-footer. Saxton grabs the miss. Mitchell outside. From the arc. Cans it from downtown. Just on fire from beyond the arc. Seems like just about all her points are coming from deep. Pass to Brown. To the paint. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. So far going for more of an inside game here in the second half. Getting away from the three-point shot. Mitchell outside. Over Brown. 
pass to Wheeler. The three from Kelsey Mitchell. Oh, no good trying to beat the buzzer. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead, and this one may already have been decided. The Fever on top, opening a huge gap. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. I got your help, Liv. Hey, now Berger. Yeah, Pass to Boston. Christy Wallace on the wing. Come on, Alexa Carter. Berger with it. And you look at the ratings for the WNBA, guys, they are skyrocketing every single year. Well, it's through major increases during the 2022 season. Christine and you just look at the 2023 draft, it was the most watched in almost 20 years. I love seeing how much the league continues to grow. And you use the right word, grow. It happens with viewership, getting more eyeballs on this incredible league. While other sports leagues have seen kind of declines in their ratings, the WNBA continues to take steps forward. Now here's Wallace. Puts it up from 17. Oh, Gumake with the rebound. Well, she rushed that one. The D was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. Fourth quarter, still young. Just over a minute played. Pass to Westbrook. Amby. She tries for three. Another three for the Sparks. Love the selfless, intelligent play by Hamby. Puts the ball into the wide open shooter's hands. Here's Wallace. She's covered by Hamby. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Pass to Berger. And here's Wallace. The fader. Boston, good. Nice touch by Boston, controlling her power. And here's Westbrook. And we're around two minutes into the fourth here. Ogumake outside. Back to Hamby. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by the Fever. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Known for her mid-range jumper, there's a bit of a quiet efficiency to Berger. Pass to Cook. Westbrook. Here's Hamby. And she drops in the layup off glass. That's not easy. I mean, to get bumped and still hit it like Hamby, it's so hard to do. Now here's Wallace. And here's Boston. Now Caldwell fires the three. Cook grabs the miss. Pass to Hamby. Here's Westbrook. Here's Cook. Oh, Gumake outside. Back to Hamby. Westbrook. No good with the triple. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Pass to Berger. Dantas with it. Count it. Good. 
Now Westbrook. And the outside. Westbrook. Here's Ogumake. Kept alive. Pass to Westbrook. Hook. And here's Westbrook. Expanding her range. The rebound by Dantas. Now here's Wallace. To the middle. Left side, Boston. Here's Caldwell. From downtown. Good. And it's Aaliyah Boston who picks up the assist. I like when Boston is selfless like this. So good at connecting with open teammates. Pass to Cook. Now Hamby. The three is up. And that's good. A nice job on the glass, and they pick up the two on the second effort. Such a grinder, always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. That's what she brings to the table. Now here's Berger. Boston with it. Pass to Berger. Now here's Dantas. There's the three. Hamby grabs the miss. And here's Cook. The layup missed. Here's Caldwell. Spins to the inside. Pass to Wallace. Now Boston. The three ball. And it's Shanae Ogumake with the rebound. And be down low. Guarded by Wallace. And here's Westbrook. And be outside. Cook. Back to Hamby. The three, and she's good on the three ball. You want to talk dedication and work ethic. De'Erica Hamby made more threes in her fourth year than her first three seasons combined, adding that deep shot to her offensive game. Now here's Berger. Pass to Boston. Let's go with a three. Oh, Gumake with the rebound. You can't let your ego run on offense, and you can see she really wanted to answer that made three with a three of her own. Here's Westbrook. Here's Hamby. Westbrook, covered by Berger. Back to Hamby. Westbrook. The three-pointer off the mark. Yeah, her touch has deserted her this quarter. Nowhere to be found. Pass to Caldwell. Boston with it. Now here's Wallace. To stop the drought. Indiana again missing. And here's Hamby. Ogumake. She's guarded by Dantas. Here's Westbrook. Now Cook. Pass to Westbrook. Tries a three. Caldwell pulls it in. You know, she's disappeared this quarter, not making a mark at all with her offense. And you know she'll be happy to get this period over and done with and just start fresh. Now here's Wallace. Here's Boston. Berger. Boston inside. And be on her. Back to Boston. Second chance shot. In it goes for the eighth time in 10 attempts. It's been all about Boston tonight. When she gets going, there's really not much you can do to slow Aaliyah down. She can overwhelm you. Here's Cook. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. Very close call there on the illegal screen. I'd go along with it. You know, to me, it didn't really look like her feet were set. Indiana with the ball. 
Pass to Wallace. Now here's Berger. Wallace with the ball. And here's Berger. No good that time. While I'm on with it. Pass to Brown. Obumake, left side. And that one's good. What a feed by Brown, and off guard maybe by position and by trade. Her uh, passing abilities get better each year in the league. Now here's Berger. Now Wallace. Now Dantas. She's covered by Ogumake. Here's Wallace. Back to Dantas. Rebound by the Sparks. Two second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Inside. Here's Ogumake. And they pick up two. She isn't the tallest player in the WNBA. But at 6'4", Agumake makes up for it with a wide array of post moves. Now Berger. And so it's the Fever taking care of business in this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says an awful lot about this team. Yeah, Blake, I guess they don't need home cooking, like, you know, you're cooking your mom to feel at home. Just a masterful performance all around for them. That'll do it for our broadcast, everyone.